What's going on YouTube? Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Um, I'm going to read you this email and uh, before I get there, uh, let me just set this email up of what this email is referring to, uh, what this guy was replying to. I was on vacation for uh, two and a half weeks. I went down to um, uh, Straightway, the Straightway Truth Ministries, uh, their, I guess you can call it their uh, headquarters um, for what's called Passover. Um, but that's not what this video is about. But you can go check out uh, 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 Pastor Dow, which he's up there in, in uh, up in the corner of my videos to check out if you want to learn more about that. But I told this company that I'm least to that I'm taking some time off, um, and then I will be back on May second. Um, and you know they had no problem. They say, okay, well, no problem. Just give me a call and get back. No problem. Big, no big deal. Uh, so I call them, and I call them on Thursday, the Thursday before uh, that Monday where I was supposed to, you know, pick up this load. And I asked them. I said, uh, you got that load ready for Monday? They said, well, we no, uh, we got some bad news that we don't have that that load anymore. Now I had a dedicated account loading out. Uh, near my house, uh, going out to uh, Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, and that load's not there no more. I said, okay, well, all right, and that was a dedicated route. I was running consistently, never late, always on time, been doing it for the last couple months. Now, all of a sudden, it's gone, but I, I, I know what's going on, but, you know, uh, we'll just leave it like that. But so I said, well, what do you got? They said, well, we got this load coming out of Jersey and going back to Ohio. All right. Well, what's the pay? Uh, $477. What? Yeah, it pays $477. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not taking that. Uh, I'll, I'll wait it out and wait for something else. Then, this is emails going back and forth. So, then they come back again. Uh, no, well, all the loads out there aren't are really paying much and blah, 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 blah. I'll just wait it out. No big deal. To the point to where the, my last email was, if you can't find me anything that, uh, you know, pays what I, that, that pay, that, that pays what I needed to pay, I'll just dead head in. And I left it at that. Uh, to grab a load out of, out of Ohio coming back east. And uh, I left it at that. So I get this email later on in the day. Brother man. My name's not brother man. It's actually Shannon. We cover these New Jersey to Ohio loads all week long at $500 with outside carriers. I'm not sure what those companies are paying their owner operators to bring that freight here, but I would speculate that is close to $350. This is after the company uh, takes out their cut and they pay their owner operator. So 70% of $500. Regardless, oh, regardless, rates are di dictated by capacity. Uh, supply and demand and fuel, um, meaning that uh, if there's more trucks than there are loads, then the ratios are off to where the shipper will uh, get away with charging less or get away with paying less to get their freight moved uh, and fuel. Okay, since uh, quarter Q2, quarter number two of 2015, we had a significant excess capacity too many trucks, not enough loads, and of course you see what the fuel is doing every time you drive past the fuel marquee. Excuse me, the fuel sign. Uh, yeah, fuel is going back up. So I, I mean, I don't. Let me just keep reading. It is what it is. As, as much as we want the highest paying freight for our fleet, it just isn't there to be had. As far as the rate per mile, yes. We have had a few, hold on, I'm going to stop here. 
that load paid $477 they were trying to give me. <coughs> now, after I factor in miles from leaving my house, it wasn't that far. Factor in from leaving my house, going across the bridge in Jersey, going to the destination, getting loaded, going back across the bridge where there's a $37.50 toll, then uh, jumping on the turnpike, even if I went across 80 or went across 68, either way, you know, it's still going to cost me, right? So my figure came out to uh, 95 cents a mile, which was actually less than that. But I just put 95 cents in a mile just to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because um, they didn't give me an exact location where it was going. So they just said Columbus, Ohio. So uh, I gave them the benefit of the doubt. But still, uh, so... Let me keep reading. As far as the rate per mile, yes, we had a few guys come in at 70 cents per mile this week to help cover their fuel costs. I'll read it that part again. As far as the rate per mile, yes, we have had a few guys come in at 70 cents per mile this week to help cover their fuel costs. to help cover their fuel costs. So, it didn't cover all of their fuel costs. It said to help cover their fuel costs, all right? You can't run a truck for 70 cents a mile. You can't run a truck for 80 cents a mile. You can't run a truck for 90 cents a mile, maybe a dollar a mile. Anything under that, it's, you can't, it, even if the truck's paid off, you can't do it. Get your calculator out. Calculate costs. All your costs, taxes, insurance, uh, uh, tags, um, your your twenty two ninety. You know your IFTA, um, and then you know the list goes on. You know you go, you got to take. Well, you don't pay for that every week. No, you don't. But you know you gotta. There's a certain operating cost that you need to. Uh, uh, maintain, you know, when you when you're accepting freight, you know, when it come when you uh, take a, a dollar per mile, when when you calculate your dollar per mile, say it even like that. So now he's referring to, now back to the email. Uh, he says ninety five to ninety cents six, six cents per mile. Then he puts a question mark. As terrible as that sounds, yes, that's about as good as it's going to get until either load volume increases and or most carriers go out of business and capacity tightens. <laughs> Is this only stressful for me? Well, if, if you're running your truck, if it costs more to run your truck than what the loaders are paying, of course you're going to go out of business. Let me keep reading. Uh, where was I at? The part that always makes me shake my head is that when folk don't like, let me restart. The part that makes me shake my head is that when folks don't like the rate, but they are willing to deadhead in for nothing. I've had drivers tell me that they would rather take zero cents per mile. And I try to explain to them that they are actually running at a negative. I want to stop right there. Yeah, they are running at a negative. So when you get your outbound load, the load that you're, okay, let's say you, you deadhead to a, a couple hundred miles to get a better paying load. Well, the load you calculate, a lot of times that load that comes at that profitable load that you're going, you're deadheading to, it will cover the expense of your deadhead miles not all the time but a lot of times and sometimes it's more economical just to deadhead to get that higher paying freight than it is to take a cheap load that's going to take all day long for them to get loaded or for them to load you then you got tolls and you got fuel then uh it i mean <laughs> let me keep reading Running at zero cents per mile, meaning that you're running with zero revenue against zero cost. The problem with that mindset 
is that when drivers that had in here, they have to pay for fuel. And since that cost goes against zero revenue, that truck is actually runs at a negative cost per mile. With that thought, the 95 to 96 cents per mile looks like a bargain. And of course, the end game is to get back here so that you can take advantage of lucrative outbound rates. I'm, I'm just thinking here for a second. If I run, for, if I did had 400 miles, it would probably cost me about 60, let's see, five, about $60 worth of fuel. Um, and then I wouldn't have to take the toll road. I would just, you know, run across uh, either probably 68 or 80 or one of those roads. I wouldn't take the toll road. Uh, so I lost out on 60 cents. Now, if I took that load for $477, uh, it would ate up all my time, right? Would ate up all my time going over there, getting loaded, because uh, most of Jersey is, is union, so they ain't in no hurry to load you. Uh, coming across the toll road, coming out of Jersey is $37.50. Whether you're 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 twenty pound twenty thousand pounds or eighty thousand pounds, it's thirty seven fifty. And then <clears throat> coming across the PA Turnpike, Class Seven. Uh, if you get on at uh, uh, Carlisle, it's a hundred bucks. and get off at seventy five, or if you get on down there at Breezewood, I think it's one sixty one. It's sixty dollars. So when it's all said and done. I may have made a hundred bucks off that load if I took it. So, to me, now you may have different different thoughts about that. To me, it was just more economical, just to deadhead over there, pay my sixty bucks, you know, and and uh, uh, pay my sixty bucks where you know running empty, getting. Uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten gallons a mile of fuel, um, and just head on back there. So, I mean, these are some of the things that you have to look at uh, when you get into the uh, owner-operator business. Uh, does that mean I have everything together? No. Uh, does that mean that I know everything? No. It's just that, you know, you, you got to look at the big picture. Um, uh, so let me keep going. I guess my point is that <clears throat> I guess my point is that until capacity changes in the industry, this is what we are left to deal with. Our long-term successful operators recognize this market and usually take inbound loads to help cover fuel and keep moving. We are always looking out for the best interests of our drivers, and that is why we offer someone like you our customer freight. I mean, let me, let me, I'll stop right there. I made a video about keeping the left door closed. And uh, I forget what the title is. Something about keeping the left door closed and keeping it moving or something like that. I don't know. They know this. They know that I'm in and I'm out. I'm not hanging around. You know, I, I when the freight's there, I move. Um, We'll just leave it at that. And they know this in the office. Uh, uh, where was I at? Mm. I'll read that star. I'll start right there. We are always looking out for the best interests of our drivers, and that is why we offer someone like you our customer freight since it usually pays more than what a broker will give us. So-and-so mentioned that you look look for your own freight too yeah uh they got tired of me complaining so they said well <laughs> i just asked them i said hey can i look for my own freight and they said yeah uh you know they just got to get it clear you just have to call us to make sure the broker is okay to work with so and that's <clears throat> i didn't say it in the video but that's another hidden stream of income you know in that that video that i put out is just going if you're working for a small company 
you know, you can ask them if you can uh, get on the load boards and pick your own freight. Whew, I should be charging for this stuff. If you find something, and back to the email, if you find something better than, then if you find something better than take it, like I said, I can move this customer freight all day long. Our job is to keep you moving and make you as profitable as we can. Not at 90 cents a mile, 95 cents a mile. That ain't happening. Excuse me. With that being said, we are at the mercy of the market, whether times are good and bad. Um, so, I mean, I really don't have any more commentary about this email. Uh, every situation is different. Um, somebody may have to take that load <clears throat> that pays under a dollar a mile. And I'm not saying a dollar a mile is great, but... Um, Everybody's situation is different, and if if you're in that situation where you have to take that freight, you got to do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, um, you're responsible for your business, just as I am responsible for mine. Um, so, this is some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, um, and generally speaking. If you just just kind of listen to the, the watch the rates and the <clears throat> and the, and you know talk to different brokers and stuff, they'll tell you that fuel is down. Well, you know what, Mister Broker, there's more cost besides fuel, and let me just stop. Let me just stop, man. Y'all have a good one. Uh, I hope this video has uh, uh, not discouraged you but just uh made you look at things you know a little more closely um uh when it comes to this trucking thing um y'all have a good one uh we will see you on the next one